Welcome to my first impressions on the Gerbo, Gerber Sumo. First off, I want to state that I got the wrong knife. And I don't want to review it yet. I'll try to keep the negativity out of my first impressions video. Um, I ordered this through uh, drop.com and uh, they sent <laughs> the wrong knife. And I was reading um, complaints on drop.com. Everyone that reviewed this knife, maybe I saw like five reviews on drop.com, received the wrong knife. If, 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 if they wanted this knife, this version with the plain blade, they received the black blade. Of course, I ordered the black blade. I, I, th I think it has red liners. I, I was not confirmed because I couldn't tell on the drop.com. They never had a picture of the liners. But you can see, like, blue on some of the pictures just at an angle. And then I saw red and I saw blue. So, okay, of course, the probably the black blade's red, which I would like better because I, I like red better than blue. So, but I, I just, I don't, I hate to give it a negative review, but this blade is kind of ugly with this uh, hole. And um, I think the black blade would have made kind of, made me happier with this hole I, I don't know and uh, i've saw i, I saw uh mr anderson uh uh on a knife center saying this blade is easy to flip open and flip close maybe i have a i have a like a really um tight version and it needs to be bro broken in but I can't, I can't flip, flip it open. And, uh, and, and first off, you know, when a, a smaller knife, it's easy to like wedge it in your hand and then pull down these buttons. But when I, I pull down these buttons, it like wants to s slip out of there and I just don't have any purchase or uh, grip ability to flip it open. I mean, maybe I need to practice more, but um, I think it's, I don't know how he did it. He must have huge hands or, but I I can't get to, to flip open reliably. Um, and I, I've had a, um, the terminus and I, I can easily flip that open and close like crazy yeah it just won't it won't do it um, but my first impressions uh, and I don't really like the handle I think that I think the, the handle is when you grip this handle it, it, it's good it's so narrow on the end it it, it, it almost feels like you're not holding it on the end. It just, it, it's hard to describe, but uh, this end should have been fatter. Maybe they should have been um, like maybe a, a, an inch or two like thicker on the end, you know, like start um, from here and start wedging it out. And this lanyard hole, you can just put a, a, you could just eliminate this cutout and just have it on the end. I don't see no reason for the long lanyard hole I, other than design, but I just don't like it. I mean, it, it probably has to mimic the hole and I don't, I don't like the hole either, so. Um, 
I don't know if, I mean, I, I know if I have the receive the right blade, I still would be having these feelings of negative negativity on this blade. I mean, so I, I need to fidget with this a, a little longer, maybe another week or a few days and see cut and stuff and using it and trying to flip this uh, blade out or using the access lock. But right now, I feel like it, it's just a cheap knife, I think. It looks like it, it, it wouldn't be cheap, but it is. Um, yeah, I, I don't wanna rake this knife over the coals. If I uh, decide to do a review, I will do a fair review and uh, using my scale and uh, not just my opinion uh, of this right now because receiving the wrong knife, I, I think I am a little biased to hate it, <laughs> maybe. And I've, I've contacted drop.com and they're impossible to reach. Uh, and you, you just have to fill out um, a form and uh, wait for them to respond. I, I Maybe I'm not looking in the right places because I can't phone a phone number um, to have them send me the correct blade. But um, yeah, well, uh, you know, the, the, the biggest selling version uh, idea of this uh, knife is the access lock. Even if you can't flip it open, it you you can't buy, I, I don't think you can buy an access lock this cheap. I mean, there, there probably is other blades or other knife manufacturers with an access lock that's kind of cheap, but I think this is the cheapest. And um, this this lock is excellent, you know. I'm I'm glad to see other people using it, but uh, other than other than that, I think the only thing that's good about this knife is the access lock. And uh, Gerber has a cool logo. <laughs> um, being a designer, I think their their logo is pretty cool. But that's, I mean, a logo does not make a cool knife. I say, think. Okay, well, that's my uh, first impressions of this. Um, if you agree or disagree, comment. Maybe, maybe you 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 like people that like the, uh, have the knife will like it, and fill me in on what's good about the knife and what's and similarly people that have the knife what's bad about the knife all right thanks